It's 2023 and you're probably setting some new goals to take the IELTS exam. So in today's video, I'm going to provide you with 10 essential tips you need to know to pass the IELTS exam in 2023. Before we begin, I need you to download this IELTS study planner. You could find the direct link down in my description box down below. And throughout the video, I will help you fill in this study planner so you are able to stay organized and have a proper routine to study for the IELTS exam. You may be planning to take the IELTS exam within the next few months or maybe within the next few weeks. Whatever your situation is, you need to make sure you prepare for exam day. So have a look at these 10 essential tips and if you have any question about these tips, make sure you write your question down in the comment section so I am able to help prepare you for your exam. So the first tip is that you need to study the exam format. My recommendation is that you should take some mock tests and you should become familiar with the question types you may see on exam day. But before you become familiar with the question types, you need to know what exam you are taking exactly. So there are two types of exams on the IELTS exam, which is the academic and the general. Once you identify what exam you are taking, then you can uh, start going through the different question types you may see in every single section, just because the questions could be completely different between the academic exam and the, ac and the general exam. So first you need to identify what exam you are taking, then you need to become familiar with the question type. If you want to know how to take mock tests for the IELTS exam, check out my different playlists on this channel. I will put a link above so you are able to directly access it and you will be able to find links and other useful information on where exactly you can take mock tests for the IELTS exam. So even if you are familiar with the exam format, one uh, biggest recommendation I have for you is that you need to be familiar with the different question types you may see on your exam. The reason why is because some question types go in order and some question types do not. So in other words, in the IELTS, reading section you may be given a passage and certain questions and you may assume that you will find the answer to question one in paragraph one and the answer to question two in paragraph two of the reading passage but that's not the case with some question types so you need to make sure you know what question types you will be given that will help uh, that will go in order and which question types do not so that way you are best prepared for exam day because you want to ensure that you know how to manage your time and you know what question types you will be given. Make sure you add this to your planner so that way you know to concentrate on your weak points such as maybe uh, not knowing what question types go in order in IELTS reading and which ones do not. So tip two, the second tip I have for you is that you need to identify your weak points on the exam. Once again, earlier I mentioned about weak points. Weak points meaning what area you have the most hard time with. So maybe you have a hard time with IELTS speaking part two. So you want to make sure that in your IELTS study planner, you write what exactly you are going to practice for IELTS speaking part two. Maybe you want to find ways on how you could improve your English every single day. So make sure you write this in your IELTS study planner that you are going to practice IELTS speaking every single day, maybe for 20 minutes. Or maybe one of your struggles are that you have a challenging time writing essays for IELTS writing task two. So how exactly are you going to break it down to make sure that you get the best days of your study schedule? So maybe one day you're going to concentrate on how to write an introduction for IELTS writing task two. And then maybe one day you're going to concentrate on the how to write the first body paragraph of a set of a question. And then maybe you're going to concentrate on the second body paragraph 
the third day. So you want to make sure you write this down in your IELTS study planner so that way you know what exactly to concentrate on on day one and day two and so on and so forth. Or maybe you have a challenging time answering an IELTS reading match headings question. Would you know how exactly to answer this question right away? If you don't, then you know that you need to make sure you concentrate on this type of question as well and write this in your study planner. So the third tip is to set realistic goals, guys. For example, if you know that your exam is booked in two months and you work every single day, you know that you are not able to study for the IELTS exam within two months, then don't book your exam during a time period where you are not off. Set realistic goals. If you know that your exam is in a month, for example, try to take some time off or try to allocate some time in the evenings to study. So make sure you have a proper study routine so you are able to achieve that band score that you desire make sure you set a routine guys honestly if you have it in stone set in stone and say you know what every night from 8 30 to 10 p.m i am going to study this will help you get that dream mark that you are wanting so make sure you have a routine and you are able to stick to it tip four is to have a clear study plan so for example if you know you are going to study every night from 8 30 to 10 p.m you need to make sure you have uh, a, an outline so pretty much your IELTS study planner should tell you what you are going to concentrate on every day so then that way you know you're not wasting time on your on your evenings figuring out what you are going to study you need to have a proper guide and a proper planner of what you are going to cover every single night to get the most of your study hour so make sure you are able to do this and if you are uh, if you are lost or you're confused at what exactly you should cover every single night check out this 29 day ielts study plan that i have created down in my description box down below you can find a direct link to that to get an idea of what you can study every single day even though it's a 30-day study plan just remember that you can change it around to whatever suits you a th you could change it to a three-month study plan just take it and write each section in your IELTS study planner so that way you stay organized so you are able to achieve what you are really wanting the fifth tip is to take IELTS preparation classes or maybe practice speaking reading writing uh in english with a friend so if you are able to take classes uh if if you are able to then definitely i highly recommend you to take ielts preparation classes or there's ton of material that is free online please check out my youtube channel and all my different playlists where i have made uh over a hundred videos for you on IELTS preparation material. Make sure you check that out in my description box or try to practice with a friend like I mentioned. Uh, maybe you could practice some uh, speaking with a friend and try to come up with new vocabulary words. Say it in a sentence and that way you are practicing to improve your English every single day. Also check out our website at eslwords.com where I've written over a hundred articles on how you can prepare for the IELTS exam. All of this could be found in my description box down below. And guys, if you are interested in private classes or group classes, make sure you let me know down in, uh, down in the comments section because this is something I'm currently working on. And the sixth tip, guys, is to have a study routine. As I mentioned earlier, you need to have something set in stone to tell yourself I am going to achieve this goal in two months. I want to be prepared for the IELTS exam two months from today. So I am going to allocate one hour every single day to make sure I prepare for the IELTS exam. I know a lot of us are busy. We work, we're parents. 
So the best way to do this is to find a, a, a routine that works for you. And trust me, if you don't have time to sit down and uh, prepare for the exam, there are so many other ways to prepare. You can listen to podcasts that will help you improve in your English. Uh, you could maybe read a book while you're on the road. Uh, uh, you know, maybe taking your children to school, you could listen to a podcast, maybe read an article during your lunch hour. So that way you are improving in these different sections. I have linked down three podcasts that I highly recommend you to listen to when you are free so you are able to improve in your English. And guys, the seventh tip is to stay consistent. Like I said, you will not see any improvements if you do not stay in consistent. You cannot study for the IELTS exam only for one day and expect to see magic results. No, not even one week probably. So you need to make sure you stay consistent. If you are taking the exam in one month, make sure you are able to allocate time every single night to study or whatever your situation is, something that works for you that will help you stay consistent. A tip eight is to find certain habits that will allow you to practice your English every day. Maybe uh, practice reading every single day, practice listening to podcasts every day, uh, maybe practice speaking with a friend every day. You need to make sure you establish certain habits that will help you improve in your English every day. If you are not sure what types of habits you should have, it only requires 15 to 20 minutes of your time, literally. Check out this video up above where I explain four habits you should have to practice English every day. And tip nine, the ninth tip is to familiarize yourself with sentence structure, grammar, intonation. These are so important for the IELTS speaking section because honestly, just because a, a, a sentence is written a certain way, it does not mean that that sentence is said in the same way when we are speaking. If you want to learn about natural spoken English and how native English speakers actually speak naturally, then make sure you include this in your IELTS study planner. I have included a 10 day IELTS speaking uh, self study plan down below that will help you become familiar with natural spoken English and these three aspects of speaking. And guys, we're finally on the 10th tip. The 10th tip is to arrive to your exam early. The reason why I highly recommend you arrive early is because you don't want to be nervous on exam day. Oh my God, I only have 10 minutes. Arrive early, relax, uh, maybe grab a coffee, uh, take a few deep breaths and everything will be okay. If you walk in there with confidence, that's a big thing uh, for you to be able to pass the exam. So speaking of focusing on grammar, sentence structure, and intonation, check out this 10-day IELTS speaking self-study plan up above and I'll see you there.